sound is produced by to and fro motion of objects. This motion is called vibration or oscillation. Let's take an example of sound producing turning fork which is made of steel. The two upper ends of the tuning fork are called the prongs, while the lower end is called the stem. When we strike the prong, vibrations are produced and so does the sound. You must have heard different types of sound. Some are very high pitch and some are very dull. Some are very loud and some are very low. All these properties of sound are controlled by different characteristics of vibration. Let's learn about them in detail. First characteristics of vibration is frequency. It is equal to number of oscillations completed by vibrating object in an unit time. When unit time is one second, unit of frequency becomes hertz. For example, if an object is vibrating once in a second, its frequency is one hertz. When frequency is high, high-pitched sound is produced and when frequency is low, low-pitched sound is produced. Next characteristics is amplitude. Amplitude define the loudness of sound. If amplitude is high, it means sound is loud. And if it is low that means sound is low in intensity. It is measured by measuring maximum displacement of vibrating body from its mean position. It is measured in meter. As we move away and away from sound source, amplitude of vibration reduces and thus sound becomes inaudible. Another characteristics is time period which is nothing but time taken in completing one oscillation. It is related to frequency and calculated by taking inverse of it.